One Ton Life is presented by Vattenfall, Volvo and Ahus. The first One Ton Life house, an exciting low energy house that can produce its own energy, is ready and the Lindell family move in to start the new climate smart lifestyle. When we took the car from our old house coming here, I thought this is exciting, but also a bit uh, challenging, or, or rather challenging. We're going to stay here for half a year and be challenged to change our life. You know, I know it's going to be hard. It's going to be interesting, a lot of learnings, but also tough. It was a brand new house and I was eager to explore it. And I think this house is wonderful. I love the design and the architecture. I'd like now to officially hand over the key to you. Just a few days later, on January the 19th, it was time for the official inauguration. The world's media gathered to document the launch and give it global coverage. One ton each per year. Sky's Geraldine Cooper reports. Minimal outslip of coal dioxide. Carbon footprint offering a six-month stay in an eco house. It's a new built special house. Gert Wingård was asked by Ahus to design a series of low-energy houses. They were to be functional, comfortable and energy efficient, but naturally also attractive to look at. The special thing about the design of this building is that it's a quadrant house, which uh, sort of makes uh, uh, it for a lesser volume. It's kind of a cubicle space really, so the exterior skin is as little as possible to shield the volume of 150 square meters spread over two floors. And then we have these intermediary spaces when you enter into the building, which is very common in Nordic countries, where you don't keep the temperature always high, but it's sort of in between, it's like an airlock. And the same goes for the living room, which also has a veranda on the outside. And then very special to this building is that you've got frames around all the windows. And those frames, they shield the building in the summer when we have this intense summer light, which can be a bit of a problem in the Nordic countries. It also creates a microclimate, which is very good, protects the uh, most sensitive part of the building, the windows. They are openable windows, and it makes for a good microclimate where, where don't the wind really makes much difference, or the rain doesn't get to the building, not the snow, anything. And that makes for uh, like small boxes around the, like the windows, like putting glasses on the building, really, yeah. I think that's special. I hadn't heard that much of Jet Vinegård before, but now I realize that he's one of Sweden's top architects. And it was really interesting to meet him and hear his thoughts and how he thought when he planned this house. Yeah, it was really nice to meet him. After meeting him, we understand this house a lot better and appreciate it even more. Christian Axelsson of Ahus supervised construction of the house. In addition to its unique appearance, it features solutions to help the Lindells cut their CO2 emissions. When Ahus joined the One Ton Life project, the biggest challenge was actually to create an energy efficient house equipped for the future and to do so by examining what's available today, today's technology, quite simply exploiting it to the maximum. What is most important in this project, and above all in its walls, is to create this simplicity and function and comfort. We have done so through a controlled process from factory to finished house, and by using this type of wall, we have created the preconditions necessary for the house to function optimally, both on cold winter days and hot summer days. The heart of the house's heating system is the sun, delivering both heating and electricity. We use the sun to heat up water during much of the year, warming up the house and supplying hot water in the kitchen and bathrooms, and also to provide auxiliary heating and ventilation. In addition, we use solar energy to generate electricity. The entire roof and facade are covered with solar cells, and we can use this electricity, for instance, to power our electric car, or for additional heating in the winter when the solar heating is not sufficient. 
About 84% of all the energy we produce indoors in the form of bodily heat, TV, cooking, is recovered in the ventilation system and routed back into the house via a heat exchanger. The Wanton Life House has a unit that monitors energy consumption, Energy Watch. Using wireless technology, it tracks energy usage and presents the information in easy-to-read form on a touchscreen laptop. Energy expert Lars Eiklind shows the family how it works. This house has Energy Watch. It allows the family to monitor their electricity consumption in real time, here and now. It also allows them to distinguish between the large power consumers and the small ones. It makes it possible to identify energy thieves. And if the Lindells do something to reduce their electricity usage, they can see the result and compare it with the day before or the previous week or previous month. It's a simple tool that can be installed in villas. It cuts electricity usage by about 10 to 20 percent. In the average villa in Sweden, this means about 3,000 crowns a year. It was really interesting to meet Lasse. He knows so much about all this, and I think that we have a lot to learn from him. Yeah, um, I think I could learn a lot from him, because it explains in a way that makes it easy to learn and you get more interested. In order to meet the one-ton target, every part of the house must be energy optimal. It therefore features the latest generation of Siemens energy-efficient white goods. They are about 40% better than the market average, and even the tumble dryer here is over 50% more efficient than those available on the market. When white goods start becoming 10, 15 years old or more, it's time to consider replacing them. And when you're choosing new machines, it's important to examine their energy rating, not just their design and color, because after all you're going to keep them for 10 or 15 years or more. That's a whole lot of energy over the years, so it's a good idea to choose energy-efficient white goods. For example, this kitchen has a dishwasher that is extremely energy-efficient, not least because it uses very little water, just 7 litres to wash 13-place settings. That's a good figure. For this family, whose white goods back home are 10 to 15 years old, well, those machines actually use twice the electricity these do. So that's a massive saving the family will make after moving in here. What are your thoughts after spending the first few days in the house? In this new house, I took a special interest in the energy watch, because for me, that's the key to actually be able to learn and change. Because in everyday life, you don't know, you don't have a clue what happens when you put on the toaster or, or you boil some water on the stove or you don't know, but with the energy watch we will know and thus we can learn. I think the car is like awesome. It's uh, all the new machines, the all new design and stuff like that they put in. Jonathan and Nils can relax. In the next issue of One Ton Live, we'll meet Volvo's electric car expert, Johan Kornberg, who will show the Lindells how the Volvo C30 works. See you then.